Here within the scriptures of what we're going to read, I want you to notice what Jesus says. It's This verse here is very controversial though, with a lot of people, but it was a verse that I really had a hard time understanding whenever I was first born again. But when we understand what Jesus is talking about, we can understand how great this family of God really is. In verse 46, chapter 12, St. Matthew's Gospel says, while he yet talked to the people, there was such a crowd of people, you can read this in two other Gospels, and uh, there's such a crowd of people uh, that nobody else can get in. And the Bible says, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without desiring to speak to him. The crowd was so great where he was that even his own mother and his own brothers could not come in to speak to Jesus. But they wanted to talk with him. But the Bible says in verse 47, Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that, that told him, Who is my mother, and who are my brethren. For he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples, and he said, Behold my mother and my brethren. Jesus has got such a different outlook on things and the natural people within this world. I want you to know that everybody that is born here upon the face of this earth in the flesh is born in, from a mother's womb. Yeah. Uh, from a, my, all of us came from a mother's womb. And what we have to, we have to understand is that since we understand that, and what, there's so many people does not get Mother's Day, it's not always happy for everybody. Right. Because so many mothers have left their children in the gutters. So many mothers have left their children in places and, and they've become adopted by people that was not their earthly mothers but came a mother unto them. Yeah. So many people have found that, that, that they don't even ever have a true mother, but they've, they've also, that, they've, that they've all been fathered by somebody who's also been a father and a mother. But within our lives today, Jesus is he's wanting them to understand that who is my mother and who is my brother. And he looks at his disciples, and I'm sure he's pointing at them and presenting them. And he's been beginning to let everybody know, here is my mother and here is my brother. In other words, here is my family. It's much greater than just earthly family. I want you to know today that I have more earthly family that is lost than I do that is saved. Yeah. I have a lot more of them out there in the world of sin that is not part of the family of God. I, my desire is that they be saved. Yeah. My desire is that they come in, that they can understand that they need to be within the family of God. But the family of God is going to go to heaven to live in the same place forever and ever. I want you to know within this world, uh, the circle will be broken. Of this earthly sure. world, of yeah. this earthly family. But yeah. we got to understand that Jesus is wanting to present somebody greater than Mary, his own mother. He's wanting to present the church of Jesus yeah. Christ to let us know that all his disciples, there is our mother and our brother. Yeah. I've had many mothers within the church when I was just a little child and I'd go to Sunday school class. I remember just being little and I remember some of the Sunday. Yeah school teachers and every one of them was women every one of them was godly women who showed up on every Sunday morning who taught me the word of God and tried to teach me the understanding of who Jesus was on the stage and I was on I, I was little I remember and I remember they were always at the end of Sunday school handing us a little card of what Sunday school was all about and I'd take that home and I'd lay it on my bed or I'd put it with the in my books or I lay it with my toys and, and never now and then I get a look at that little picture and I begin to think about that little picture that the Sunday school teacher gave me. I remember other mothers within my life. My, my, my kindergarten teacher back then they called it Head Start. Her name was Mrs. 
Markham. I never will forget it. Uh, she was my Head Start teacher and first grade teacher. And she read the Bible every morning at the very beginning of class. And she read the scriptures and she prayed for us. Yeah. I remember that mother. And you might say, now wait a minute, what about your earthly mother? My earthly mother was a godly mother, but you got to understand that we've got a lot more yeah. mothers than what we could ever imagine yeah. along the way. Many of you are mothers to children, and they don't even know that you're trying to motherhood them up in Jesus Christ yeah. today. But whenever they grow older, they will remember every one of those women who had a touch yeah. upon their hearts, who taught them the Word of God. They'll remember the grandmothers yeah. that, that taught them the Word of God, the thing that is most important. I think arithmetic is, is needed. I think English is needed. I think that we need to understand yeah. our history. But I want you to know that all those teachers, they've done their job. But the best job that I've ever been given is those that taught me the word Jesus. of the living God. To be able to know that I've been mothered, I've been fathered, I've had brothers and, and that have come to me and let me know when I come up short to love me, to show me the way. But so many people yeah. does not see the great family of God yeah. that we really do have. Right. Jesus here is really wanting everybody to understand. Yes, my mother is outside the door. My earthly mother is out there wanting yeah. to talk to me. But my word yeah. is more important Amen. than anything in this world. Yeah. Because the word of God is what is going to get us whole. Amen. It's not going to be by the things of this world. Now, I don't know what Mary wanted. I don't know what his brethren wanted. But I want you to know this. I know what Jesus wanted. <laughs> Jesus wanted everybody to be part of the family of God. Yeah, the truth. Every mother that's ever mothered a Christian, a Christian livelihood has been mothered by Jesus. Yeah. Every father that has ever fathered a, a Christian, Christian family has been fathered by Jesus. Good. We have to understand the greatness of this family of God that God presents unto us every day within our lives. It is a huge family. It's not small. No. It's not just those that sit within the New Testament no, Free Will right. Baptist Church. It's just not those that sit in Free Will Baptist Churches. Right. It's those who are born again by the Spirit right. of God. We've got brothers and sisters uh, and that are mothering and that is fathering children all around this world uh, who has left our country. Uh, that is in China. That is in Indonesia. That is in South Africa. They are in the darkness of the world uh, and they are mothering and they're fathering children uh, that they didn't even know know their earthly parents showing them the way of Jesus Christ. We have great missions all around the world where people are mothering and fathering. It's easy to become a mother and a father within the Word of God when we just sit down and talk to them and let them know and nurture them within the truth of the gospel. Yes, Lord. You might say, when do we have time? <coughs> We're so busy. Little Sam sitting on my knee up here this morning as yeah. he sat there. And I want you to know, and I begin to tell him, I said, I want you to never forget this, that Jesus loves you. He said, okay, Papa. I'm instilling that within his ears and within yeah. his heart while he is young. I went up here and I've done that down with him this morning and I prayed and I prayed a childlike prayer that he could understand how to pray, that he could understand it. And at the end, I said, what do we say at the end? Say, amen. We have to understand what we need to do is train up a child in the way that they can go or that the way that they should go. And they will not depart from that. They won't forget about it. I remember my Sunday school teachers. I remember all those cooks within the elementary school. Every one of those women mothered me. And you might say, really? Yes, as, I, as I've gotten older, I understand they cooked me meals that I might be able to go down through the day. And they helped me that I'd be nourished as I was going to school. We have been, we have had so many mothers within our lives. So many people, they don't think, well, my earthly mother, where's my earthly mother? Look around you. You can see all 
with them. Every born again believer in Christ is your mother or your father or your brethren. We are teachers and lovers of one another. It's not something to take lightly. It's so fantastic. It's so great. I mean, I've got my earthly mother here still. My earthly father's gone. I told Brother Bonnie the other day, his dad came and he said, well, look at that, my dad came. And I began to tell him, I want to tell you something, Bonnie. You better cherish every moment with him that you can here upon this earth. Because if, if, if it's so be that the Lord takes him first, you're going to miss him when he's gone. Because there's a lot of things that a... That a, that especially if you've got a father that is a preacher and you become a preacher yourself, that you that I had so much confidence in my dad because he had already been through the fire. I could go talk with him and he could tell me how to handle things and what to do. But I want you to know that now that he's gone, I've still got brothers that are fathers to me. I mean, I, I, we have to understand we don't lose, but we gain. We gain every time somebody gets saved, we gain another family right. member of God that the family member of God can grow bigger and grow bigger and grow bigger. We read and we preach about a hell's mouth always getting bigger every day. I'm going to tell you something. I believe that God adds to His church daily. I believe that. And I believe that John said, I saw a number that's innumerable. There were so many of them he couldn't count them. Our family is much bigger than what we yeah. ever represent right. upon this earth. Right. Our family of God is huge. Amen. I want us to know that today. But we don't want to go home thinking, well, what about Mother's Day? My mom didn't treat me good. I want to tell you something. What about those godly mothers yeah. who helped you along your way? Who prayed for you whenever you've been sick? When you've been afflicted? But what about if you was an orphan in an orphanage? I want you to know there's somebody that cared about you that's been a godly mother to yeah. you. Amen. Bless the Lord. Mother's Day is not always that fantastic to a lot of people, but whenever you put it within the right perspective yeah. of Jesus, we see that it's a marvelous family. Yeah. He, says, uh, he says in verse 49, and he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and he said, Behold my mother and my brother, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven the same as my brother, my sister, and my mother. I mean, he just put it plain as day. He said, no, everybody who follows my commandments, they are my mother, they are my brother, they are my sister. In other words, they are my family and they will inherit all things. You've got to understand that, that Jesus is going to take us into his kingdom yeah. and we get to inherit it all. We're going to live there forever. 